YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, that might have been my probably cheesiest entrance ever. But anyway, in this video, it is official. The question that so many of y'all have asked over and over again, when is Le'Veon Bell playing? When is he going to get activated? What's he still doing on the practice squad? Why is he not on the active roster yet? When is he going to play? Is it going to be Monday night? Is it going to be Sunday night? Is it going to be Sunday afternoon? Is it going to be Sunday late afternoon? When is it going to be? Is it going to be against the Raiders, the Chiefs, uh, the, whoever else we play? And now you have it. The Ravens have officially activated running back, former Pittsburgh Steeler, former New York Jet, former Kansas City Chief, former free agent, former practice squad player, Le'Veon Bell to their active roster. So he is officially on the 53. So shout out to Le'Veon Bell. And you know that he's been waiting for this. Now, if you follow him on Twitter, then you knew this was coming. Well, you didn't know this was coming, but you kind of got a sense because Le'Veon Bell kept putting all these, these cryptic tweets and these like tweets with these emojis like dancing and stuff and all this, these gifts dancing and all that. And it kind of let us know, Le'Veon, is, is it time? So he kind of said it without saying it. But anyway, here we are now. So with Le'Veon Bell, what can we expect from a Le'Veon Bell? Well, don't let's temper our expectations. Reason I say that is because this is going to be his first time playing with the Ravens. I'm not expecting him to come in here and get like 10 to 12 carries for like 80 yards and two touchdowns. Now, that would be nice, but it should not and will not be expected of him. Now, with Le'Veon Bell, I, I would expect him to get maybe like, mm, depending on how the game is going, I say maybe like seven, seven to nine snaps, maybe. And not seven to nine runs, seven to nine snaps. My opinion. Because I don't think they're going to be, all right, Le'Veon Bell, you up. All right, go in there. Take off. No. Because they've had Tyson Williams. They've had even Latavius Murray. And there's been Devontae Freeman, too, even though he's been getting it in, in little, little drips here and there. Little drops here and there. Little pieces here and there. A little small sample size for Devontae Freeman. He ain't been getting too many carries, but the other guy's been doing most of the work. So maybe Le'Veon Bell comes in and, and fills in for him. We'll see. But I wouldn't anticipate him having so many plays tomorrow. Uh, so, but it is nice that he is, it's, it's time. It's time. Um, and as far as, uh, maybe he can add something to the passing game too. Maybe he'll, even though the backs, they've been getting involved in the passing game, especially Tyson Williams now. <laughs> hey, and that is something. Thank you, Lamar. Thank you, Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins. They, and it's kind of sad because it was supposed to be them. Lamar Jackson and this Ravens offense, they've been involving the running backs in the passing game a lot more this year. Lamar's been taking a lot more checkdowns. Lamar's been doing a lot less running. A lot less running and, and, and really taking what's in front of him, taking what the defenses give him. Um, so that's, that's been a nice part of his game that has uh, grown, evolved a bit. And again, we wish it would have been with Gus Edwards catching those passes. We wish it would have been with J.K. Dobbins catching those passes, but this is NFL. And again, the worst part about football is injuries. Um, so we'll see what happens in that front. Cause again, Le'Veon Bell, he can add to the passing game. He can be a, uh, he can block in the backfield. That's been one of his specialties. Uh, and now he's up, man. So I, I would expect his workload to increase over time, over time. Um, he ain't going to come in there tomorrow and be the number one back. So just, and I know it's exciting, but just again, let's temper our expectations. Now, um, some other guys at the Ravens activated for this game. Uh, it was Kevin Seymour, uh, who was on their practice squad. Uh, of course, Anthony Averitt is dealing with an ankle injury, so uh, it's not looking good. Uh, but we'll see tomorrow. We'll see if he ends up playing tomorrow. Um, they do have Jimmy Smith back, so Jimmy Smith is going to have an increased role tomorrow. Um, and Tavon Young, he's still doing his thing, and of course, Marlon Humphrey. But they could be without Anthony Averitt tomorrow, so that would be unfortunate. But we'll see how everything goes. Uh, now, with uh, Anthony Averitt... 
possibly being out. Deshaun Elliott could also possibly be out. So what happens at safety? Well, you got Geno Stone, you got Brandon Stevens, and you got Jimmy Smith too. Maybe they do some Jimmy Smith at safety. We'll see. But then with them having limited corners, probably want to keep Jimmy Smith at corner. Uh, we, we're going to see how they play it though. Wow, it is, oof, them injuries, man. In, injuries just, ah, they're so annoying. And us Ravens fans, we allowed to be extra annoyed this year with injuries simply because uh, literally our, our, our injured squad, they would be a playoff team, like straight up. They will be a playoff team. Um, but anyway, Derek Wolf. Oh, before we get into Derek Wolf, the uh another person that they activated for this game was Andre Smith. Another offensive lineman. And he I you know what? I didn't think he was gonna make it. I did not think he was gonna make the team. And he didn't technically make the team because he was on a practice squad. Uh, but I did not think he was gonna be around this year. He opted out uh last year and they kept him around this year. Cause I remember they signed him. Right before the first Titans playoff game where they came in at M&T Bank Stadium absolutely steamrolled us. Um, but they signed him right before that game. So he's been around the Ravens for a little while. So he is familiar with their system. He's familiar with the play calling. He's familiar with them. So maybe that's the reason why they have been keeping him around. Um, so he is active for the game tomorrow. He got the call up for the game tomorrow from the practice squad. So that's that. Um, now, somebody, as we talked about all these people who've been getting called up, we got to talk about somebody who's been put down. Uh, and that is Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf, he's been dealing with a back injury uh, ever since the very, very end of the preseason. Uh, that back injury kept him out of week one. Then it kept him out of week two. Then it kept him out of week three. Now it's week four. He's still out. And a lot of us were wondering. I know a lot of y'all had asked the question, and I had thought of it to myself about what what the what Derek Wolf's status is and why the Ravens didn't put him on injury reserve yet. Now my answer to that question was always, okay, well, they didn't put him on injury reserve. That just means that. He'll be back any day now. So any day came and every any day went, and he still hasn't been back yet. So the Ravens finally decided, you know what, let's go ahead and shut him down for at least three games. Will it be season-ending injury reserve? We'll see. Uh, but he will be out at least the next three games. Hopefully he can come back. That'd be nice. But we'll see what happens. Now, um, in, I guess, news that a lot of people were hoping to hear, uh, hoping to see about... Uh, some of our B's, because we already got one B. We we got we got Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, and we also got now we got Le'Veon Bell. So hey, I mean Steelers, y'all y'all had the three B's first. Y'all had Le'Veon Bell, y'all had Ben Roethlisberger, y'all had Antonio Brown, but now we got Antonio Brown's cousin Marquise Brown, and we got Le'Veon Bell, and we was also hoping to hear about Bateman and. Boykin and see if them boys were going to be back, but they're not. Rashad Bateman and Miles Boykin, neither of the two, were activated for this game tomorrow. So we will continue to wait, we will continue to watch, and we will continue to uh, hope that they continue practicing in full. Now, I, I did not expect Bateman to play. I thought that if anybody played out of those two, it was going to be Boykin. Why? Because Boykin is more familiar with the Ravens system. Bateman is like way behind not that he can't catch up and not that he couldn't come in and make an impact but he's way behind so probably next week since he practiced in full this week him Miles Boykin they both practiced in full this week I would expect them to get activated off of injury reserve uh Ravens play on Sunday so their first practice is on I think what Wednesday Tuesday Wednesday I, so I expect them to get activated on Wednesday uh so that would put them back on a 53-man roster but Again, we'll see how that goes. But again, yeah, Bateman and Boykin are both not playing. Neither one of the two is playing. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Tomorrow's the game. Um, this is news that we've been waiting for all day to see when it became official, if it was going to become official. And that's that's that. So it is now official. Le'Veon Bell's up. Derek Wolf is down. And Miles Boykin and Rashad Bateman, they still floating right there in the middle. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all come through for the live stream for the game tomorrow. And then remember, it's at 425. It's at 425. Turn your notifications on so you don't forget. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Le'Veon Bell is no longer, when it comes to being on the active roster, I'm out.